and the main show. They had it in the I, but they had it in the I studio I where know. they get evicted. It was a different setup to I usual. Know. It was too long. It was very badly structured. It's crap. It was a pile of crap. But again, everything in it they had a lot of gold in it, but it would just mix the wrong in the wrong direction. Yeah, because they could have been like forty-five minutes of gold rather than five minutes of gold. Well, they obviously didn't want you to see that. No, did they? of course not. And you know why? What? Because they te- want to cut out the bits where Helen fucking racially assaults people, sexually assaults people, and whatever else. And Mark sexually assaults people because he's back in the house. He Wearing his Tim Ford, Chloe around his the Tim Ford mask, whatever. calling her a tombstone. Exactly. Come on, a tombstone. He's not like that. He changed now. He's a normal human being. Now. Is there another show on TV that takes the mick out of its own viewers as much as Big Brother? Um, James just did the international sign for wanking at me because he thinks I'm taking them. I'm asking him stupid questions. I forgot. And then he just hit me when I, I said that. I forgot the question. Nothing is sacred on the podcast. What, you think that's a stupid question? I, for, I forgot what the question is. Is there another show on TV that takes the piss out of its viewers like yeah. Big Brother does? EastEnders. But, EastEnders. Uh, no, that's, that's the one I can think of that takes the piss more. That's true, and I've stopped watching it. Yeah. So, um, I'm And I would also say, like, anything like Towie or Made in Chelsea, but that's for that's no, that, people's personal choice. That gives viewers what they want. Big Brother does not give viewers what they want. You want live feed? I do, but... Go and talk to Jamie East about it, yeah, because I ain't got time for that shit. But do you know what? I was listening to Rob Sestanino's Big Brother's Big oh, yeah. Tank. Did you listen to all of that? I listened to the whole thing. Well, do you remember what? Let's talk about this for a minute. Spencer was saying, Spencer, that fucking idiot, racist, paedophile, whatever he was. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. But he was saying, wouldn't it be great to have Big Brother without the dog costumes and oh, the gunk? Don't, no, didn't he say his idea, because there were floating ideas for twists. <laughs> On Big Brother, <laughs> and someone said the idea was uh, was it dog versus dog? No, this is not oh. the point I'm trying to all make. Right. He said, "Wouldn't it be great to have a Big Brother without all the stupidness, without the dog costumes, right. without okay. the gun?" Okay. He said, "Big Brother is the smartest program on television." Ian Terry said that. No, well, both did. So why do we patronise the audience with this dog costume stuff? Oh, and the gun and everything. Yeah, and then Rob said, "Well, wouldn't it be a bit boring without the gun and all <laughs> that?" And like, you got to like appeal to like you know the average viewer, the eight year old, exactly. Yeah. But I forgot what my point was now. But um. <laughs> yeah yeah but it was to do with live feed and all that sort of stuff like giving the public what they want giving the idiot general public what even, they want even Big Brother Canada that has like next to no viewers has free live feeds <clears throat> all the time on their website and you see a Big Brother Canada person on Twitter has like a thousand followers it's that small Big Brother Australia yeah. the same at least they get like after dark or whatever they get like a three hour kind of thing that they can watch BBUSA as we know you can buy feeds you pay like $30 or whatever for the whole summer and you're done Channel 5 nothing 30 minutes once a fortnight if you're lucky I heard but the reason why is because it's a dramality show it's not it's not a reality what, what show. word was that? Dramality. Dramality. It's the whole crux of the case <laughs> between um, Brian Bello and ITV about the Towie thing. Is ITV's defence of the court case was that Towie was not a reality show like he planned. It was a dramality, which means it's... <laughs> no, serious, I'm serious. It means it's scripted reality. <laughs> and that was that was their defence. And on the day he was doing court, they settled out, out of court. And can you... How much did he get? Well, I don't know. They didn't mention... It because, was quite a bit, I think. But the thing is, if you took the amount of... Towie's a long-running show. If you took, say, 10% of everything Towie made over, say, three, even three or four years, it would run into the, what, tens of millions, I would I, imagine? I think he got about 800,000. Is I that... I seem to remember reading it somewhere. That sounds very cheap. I'm not, I'm not, that, I could be wrong. I that sounds very wrong. cheap. It's something like that. Yeah. Um, but the whole point there was... They don't give us what we want. And I think I heard that we're the only country in the world with Big Brother that doesn't have live feed. Well, there you go. And look at all this outside contact telling people how many fucking Twitter followers they got. But Jokes. You know what? I was listening to... Um, <laughs> what's that show? That podcast? Kirk Clark. Yeah, Kirk Clark on Wrap Up. Uh, no, but it's really good to listen uh, to an American... <laughs> no, it <Don't>. is. <laughs> it's really good to listen to an it American point show. of view on a U- especially on this season of, of Big Brother Britain because it's like it gives you it like is. it shows, shows you how we come across the rest of the world um, <laughs> I forgot right. what I no for- I, I keep forgetting my point as so I don't worry no that is a good show but it, they play it so safe 
And even when they call someone a dick, they apologise for it. I can't bear it. Like, it's great to listen to, to fall asleep, but I wish that they would just say, I fucking hate so-and-so. I wish they would just swear. No, but to them, it's new. It's like how BBUSA is to us. It's like a foreign language. I appreciate that. So they are like, you know, to them, it's like, oh, my God, what the fuck are these people doing? They're, it's ridiculous, I admire you know? that. I admire that, and I respect that. But, like, they had Judd on, and he was fucking swearing up a storm, and they didn't say boo to a goose. Yet they won't even say the F word if they're quoting someone. It's just like... It's a fucking podcast. Do you know what I mean? Say whatever the fuck you want. It's Big Brother the Bar, not swear up Weatherspoon's uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big Brother the Bar will swear as much as we like. Now, anyway, back to our point. Mark said about the original housemates. Oh, yeah. They wait for each other's approval. They're brown nosing so much, it's like the human centipede. That was a good quote. <laughs> that was good. But are we... Is With this vote to evict thing... Because it's vote to evict, it leads yourself to think we're going to be left with a household of floaters because all the big characters are going to yeah, go. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to end up that way. How are they going to reverse engineer? How are they going to mm, time warp point. it into the way we want it? Good point. And I don't keep saying it. I know it's boring. What Are these legacy players going to stay or not? I want to know. I think at least one or two will stay. I think so too. I think so too. Chris, Brian, how... Be- Brian Bello loves that game. He loves that game. And I know for free... He would do it for free. Because how boring is it going to be if all three of them go? It would be so boring. It would be crap. But how boring would it be if Alan Wood goes? That's the problem. Mm. So Joel said, if you ejaculate in the bath, can you make a girl pregnant? What is it? Why is he... And Mark said... Because you, he takes a lot of baths, I've noticed. There you go. He's worried. Oh, he's even smoking oh, in the bath. It's Ew. The, it's the one pregnant. Oh, my God. It's Tally. probably Aaron. <laughs> Aaron Rip and then Mark said this guy has the IQ of a brick but he's of the same jawless intelligence so you can't have it both ways so then um, anyway Mark's got Joel's back mm-hmm. he's got has he got Danny's back no he certainly hasn't got Christian's back no uh, he likes showbiz but he's tight with yeah. showbiz oh do you know what's interesting Helen likes Jade now after calling her a polyamorous slag she said she liked the way Jade stuck up for Nick in the diary and she said she was loyal and she's a true friend. And it's true, Helen does respect loyalty. She still speaks to Stephen Goode, even though he's an all-out cunt, just because he's loyal to her. Ah, but he did pay for Max <laughs> nose job. Flew him all the way to Poland and got the nose job. Are you sure Helen didn't? She's no, 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 it, it was, was Stephen Good. Goode. But mm-hmm. they're, and they're arguing about the five grand or something. But you yeah. know what? Stephen Good, remember Stephen Good and his £100,000 fireworks? He'd be like, yes. Stephen Good's the sort of person. He'd come around to your house and go, look, I bought like yeah. a million pounds worth of fireworks and then send you an invoice a month yeah. later. Yeah. He's, that, he's exactly that sort of person. Do you think he's gone out to visit Kimbot in America? No, of course I bet, not. Do you know what? He's probably reading the visa documents oh, yeah. and eating toast while he's <laughs> doing it. He's like, oh, Kimberly, I'd love to come and see you, but I've got to go out to the eyebrow salon with Mum, 64. <laughs> Harriet, 12. <laughs> Harriet, stop saying Harriet. Whatever. So then, um, oh yeah, then we had um, Jack Joe called Nikki out and said, are you being stagging me off, basically? You said something about me wearing my dressing gown all the time. Yeah. And she went, I've never even seen you in a dressing gown, which is a blatant lie. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, you already talked about this when I was in the loop. No, but, no, but listen, the, but the VT, mm-hmm. the housemates knew, they saw the VT, but the people... Well, Nikki Graham didn't seem to realise that that VT had been but shown... She didn't know, no. To, to the house. Why which, would she, though? Because Unless they told her. everyone knows... That when you go back in the Big yeah, Brother house, you're sat it. in the That's diary, it, yeah. and that you're live on the screen. Only yeah. an idiot would not would think otherwise. True, true. Um, so then Mark said to Sam, "Remember her? I do remember her. Unfortunately. Yeah, she used to have a game. No, she didn't. Yeah. She never did." He said, "I lost respect for you when he saw what she was saying about her." But she's a cum bucket anyway. She's so what does it matter? Fucking cunt. But did you notice how he actually seemed I thought he seemed a bit upset about the way that she treated him and she was like oh well I've been bonding with the rest of the house and he was just like yeah fuck off but this is the the only way that Mark can journey is to show actual real emotion yeah that's true so he needs he needs that anyway that Sam has got no soul I hope they put her up I hate her as well I hope they put her up I hope she goes over Harry he would not hate her what's not to hate she's hashtag loving life even, she even annoys Danny. Um, <laughs> well, there we go. And then Chris. You know, I think Danny really should work for the UN. 
Yeah, he would be good. Oh, have you thought about, you know, making friends? Yeah, <laughs> what about that global warming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well, hang on a minute. Wasn't well, that route? Oh, that's it. I, what I shouldn't say. No, I, no, no I'm going to say I watched it on the Channel 5 website. <laughs> when Christian and Mark had that route earlier... Um, You're ruining the show for um, I don't care. Um, Christian was going, listen, bruv, listen, bruv, <laughs> listen, bruv. And Danny goes, hey... You're not a rapper. And I'm like, <laughs> no, that was not nice. Oh, there you go then. I'm not spoilerizing <laughs> no, you. Yeah, no, because Christian said, you were picking on me to Mark. You were picking yeah. on me. So. Oh, boo woo. Anyway. So then, um, oh yeah, Harry and Nick were saying, me and you have something going on in our private life. Did uh, Harry and Nick have a private life? Fuck that. You know, fuck Nick and <laughs> fuck Harry. I'm fed up with a pair of them. Fuck them. Put Nick- them on blo- Put them on finger blast. That's it. I've had enough. I'd rather watch Lord Lionel Blair. Nick said, I lost myself and these people are bringing me back. Fuck that talk and fuck that strategy. He lost his game I, don't, I don't like it. He you lost know what? His game if you're man. saying that now, you had no game in the first place. Fuck off, fuck off out of the house. This was the worst bit. Nikki called into bed with Nick and she said, You need to get away from that sea witch. Now. Can I, can I just. Can I, can I just ask you a what? question? Is there much of this podcast left? As, why do you want to get a drink? No, I want to go to the toilet. Oh, go on, go on. Because cool. I'll, I'll talk about this. Please. Because, yeah, there's still at least 10 minutes left. Wow. I've already been to the toilet. This is a bad podcast when we go to the toilet twice. Mind you, it might be our longest podcast ever, so. I've got to talk about this Nick thing. Look, he's in the loo. Let's talk privately. Girl talk. So, Nick goes to. Uh, Nicky goes to Nick. You've got to get away from this sea witch. Nick allegedly is in love with Harry or whatever, some bullshit. If you're a man. Listeners, if you're a man and some fucking girl comes in and says, you've got to get away from this sea witch, about your girlfriend, theoretically, this is your girlfriend, would you just fucking sit there and let someone you've never met before and only seen on TV 10 years ago going, it's so cold, call your girlfriend a sea witch, and if so, you're a spineless piece of shit, and the only thing from the sea is Nick, who's a jellyfish. Um... Lucky I had that bit to say while you were up in the toilet. Well. <laughs> Honestly, Nick gets away with pure murder. If there was a girl in there acting the way that he did, they would be fucking castigated. They would be fuck- Emma Willis would fucking roast them when they would come when they came out the house. They would die. And then when Nick went into the um, bathroom to comfort Harry, where Danny was comforting her. He come in and ha- and Harry was like, "Oh, go away, Tim!" And he like literally couldn't get out of the room fast enough. Like he was desperate to go away. She's like, "Nick, this is your dream. This is your dream." Nick's dream seems to be to be a fucking thoughtless, fucking piece of shit, bastard, abusive, slimy, sleazy cunt. And I used to like Nick, but actually, he's my least favorite person in the house because he is disingenuine if that was a word um and i used to actually like him but he is so fucking obsessed with what the public thinks about him he supposedly cares about harry he doesn't give two fucks about harry he wants to fuck her with one of his pathetic 30 second on a train shags um uh, hang on it was on a plane oh wh- whatever Planes, trains, right, listen, automobiles. Have you got this Nick bullshit out of your system? No. Because it, I want to ask you a question. He's a, he's a, he's a nothing. I want to ask you a question. What? You're in in Big Brother. You're in bed. Yeah. Nikki Graham crawls, crawls into bed with you and she yeah. says, Lindsay is a sea witch. What would you say to her? No, but you're outside the house, so that's different. Well, say you've been getting off of me in the house and Nikki Graham crawls into the bed and calls me a sea witch. Well, do I want to have a show match with uh, Nikki Graham? So you're saying you're going to agree with Nikki Graham that I'm a sea witch? Just, are you a sea witch? What is a sea witch? What is a sea witch? Who are you? <laughs> Danny? Christian? What's wrong with you? <laughs> a sea witch is a witch that comes from the sea. Any idiot knows that. <laughs> Fucking hell. And you cast to get these houses for being thick and then you ask what a sea witch is. <laughs> Come on, be serious. Now... I guess it's like, um, who's that w- woman that cries from the... Uh, oh, the, under the, the sea. No, oh, the banshee. No, the banshee, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. All right. Now... No, then no. Do you think Nick and Harry are in an abusive relationship? No, no. I think abusive is is too stupid. I do. Well, stupid it might be. Uh, Who's abusing who? Both are abusing each other. Well, what you know? What? Let them get on with it. They're both screwed with their games. But I think Harry has got a strong chance to stay because of Helen Woods. That's that's the only thing that I can think of at the moment. Depending on how the votes go, so. 
Now I've got. Now we're done with the main podcast, and now I've got a few bits that wouldn't fit into the main podcast. Okay. Do you want to talk about them, or you want to ignore them? No, no, let's go. Fuck your Friday. That's like that's. I, that's how old some of this shit is. That's-